I think this was something that was like most material. You probably had some form of a press release that was given to various um, shield media members. They had this was what is coming out in the in the email or however they sent it. This is what is coming out. This is what we think are the major talking points. And this is what more than likely is the major talk. Why these are the talking points that they are, because they were given this headline or given this this point of emphasis by DC Comics themselves. CBR. I'm going to read the headline to you, and you guys are already going to have thoughts. DC's new trans-masculine hero wields the opposite of Flash's speed force. DC's Lazarus Planet, Dark Fate, this is the sub-caption, will introduce a new trans-hero whose name is Circuit Breaker, who is able to tap into the power of the, not the speed force, the steel force. This was published a day ago. You know how I know or why I'm under the the, uh, opinion that, hey, this was a press release and this is the headline that we want to emphasize. And that's the fact that this is a trans. I don't even know what that means. Trans masculine. I have, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what the fuck that means, but there was another one because the pop verse did the same thing. Meet circuit breaker. DC's first major trans masculine superhero. So that clearly is what the emphasis point of emphasis or the selling point that DC wants to drive home. We have a trans masculine hero that is going to be introduced again i have no idea what that means but let's see what uh cbr who is not a fan of the ripperverse we all know that at least some of their members aren't lazarus planet dark fate number one will introduce a new trans hero named jules uh jordan also known as circuit breaker who holds a strong connection to the steel force writer and artist AL Kaplan shared a first look at circuit breaker on Twitter meet Jules. Uh, So I guess this is the writer and artist says meet Jules Jordan pronouns. He, they, so I guess this is what they said on Twitter. He, they, AKA circuit breaker Kaplan's captions reads, Can a new hero channel the inexorable steel force energy to fend off energy or evil? Excuse me. DC DC's Lazarus planet. Dark fate. Number one is out on Valentine's day responding to a comment. Kaplan, who is again, the writer and the artist confirmed Jules is a trans man, but not super into the binary. So that where the masculine part comes from. He's not super into the binary. Well, I mean, well, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not even saying this is a joke. I don't know what this shit means. And there's a tweet right there. Uh, uh, the creator clearly wants you to understand uh, that things are, are of the rainbow because there's a rainbow there. And yeah, trans man, but not super into. I don't know what the, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it means. Responding to Kaplan's post, DC editor. uh, So there's the uh, editor of DC further touched on circuit breakers, upcoming debut circuit breaker is going to be your new favorite character. All right, cool. New favorite character. Sell me on it. Breeze life in the jewel. uh, So share posted Kaplan breathes life into Jules Jordan's first adventure this February in which our new hero is blessed or cursed with the dreaded steel force. 
during Lazarus Planet, which is some um, probably some old multiversal bullcrap. I'm guessing with uh, DC because they're all in on that. So Jules Jourdain is is a tra is trans uh, masculine, and of course the the uh, stand accounts are already out. So there is uh, the Steel Force, which was created and first appeared in Justice League number two in 2018, uh, created by Scott Snyder. So apparently this character is going to be, um, I guess, tapping into that, and that's where the source of the powers are going to be. But the headline is, and what the important thing is, is, the, the fact that the character's trans. I can't see who they're talking to. Am I blocked? Oh, the tweets are protected. So I wonder what this person asked to make uh, the editor be like, yeah, they're trans or the creator, excuse me, to be like, yeah, they're trans. Look, guys, they're creating uninteresting characters. And if you have to lead on sexuality to be the selling point, um, you're, that character's dead on arrival. I'm just going to give it to you straight. They're just dead on arrival. Now, some people would, of course, um, like they do with black characters, the same thing as well. You, if, you, if, you, if you come out or these weirdos come out with a new character and they focus on black, 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 and then people reject the character, well, it's, now it's a problem because you are only rejecting the character because you have a problem with black characters uh, is kind of the approach. But what the problem is, and I know free game for you artists or authors or writers, or artists, whatever you want to call yourselves out there, uh, free game, if you focus on that, you're almost guaranteeing to turn off a large portion of the audience, not because of the sexuality by itself. It's just that that's a gimmick, and we know it's a gimmick. Um, you're leading with that, and that's not what people are reading comic books for. They don't care about that. I'm just giving this to you straight. So, yeah, I do agree with one part. It'll be someone new, new character, uh, new character. I mean, it'll be someone's favorite character and they'll love. They'll make stand accounts and they just won't buy the book. Wherever you're viewing the content, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you may be interested in my comic book company, Riververse Comics. Our first book and campaign, I Sum Number One, brought in $3.7 million with tens of thousands of satisfied customers. Visit Riververse.com to check out our store and stay up to date with the latest campaigns from one of the hottest new comic book companies. Also, my first big step towards a parallel economy was the development of my personal website, EricDJuly.com. This entirely replaced my Patreon. Now, if you enjoy this content, please consider becoming a member over at the website. We have an ever-expanding list of perks for various membership tiers, a forum, and a phone app. Some of these perks will even benefit you if you're fans of the Ripperverse. Anyway, I appreciate you so much for being a supporter and or customer. I even got a little love for my haters.